You can do all the analysis and handicapping you want before placing a bet. Turnovers will flip those predictions on their ear. We turn it over to numbers man Steve Paul, who talks turnovers and how much they're worth to NFL bettors. Get it? Turn it over, huh? Turn it, huh? Turnovers are among the most impactful plays in the NFL. In 2018, the average turnover results in more than a four-point swing in expected points. In a league where the average line is two and a half points, turnovers really are game changers. But are they predictable? All right, going, in, going back as far as 2009, if you look at the top and bottom three teams in terms of turnover differential through seven weeks, and you compare those week seven numbers to the rest of the season, we find two main results. One, not surprisingly, the top teams are better than the bottom teams at winning the turnover battle. Rest of the season, those week seven top three teams are about 0.7 turnovers per game better than the bottom three. Mm -hmm. Second result, there's a significant regression to the mean. In the first seven weeks, the difference between the top and the bottom was more than 2.75 turnovers compared to that 0.7 the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. So for those teams near the bottom, if we conservatively use four points per turnover, they see an improvement of more than four and a half points per game just from better turnover luck. Meanwhile, those teams who have benefited from that luck thus far this season see an average loss of 3.7 points per game from getting fewer good bounces. All right, so then heading into week eight, which teams are truly talented when it comes to forcing turnovers and which ones are just lucky? Right, so we have the Jacksonville Jaguars getting three points facing Philadelphia and London. The Jags were second in takeaways and fifth in turnover differential in 2017, but have struggled in 2018 with just five takeaways and a minus 12 turnover differential through seven weeks. That's good for 31st in the NFL. The defense has continued to play well, sixth in EPA and second in yards per play, so I expect those turnovers to come with time. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Browns getting eight points in Pittsburgh. Cleveland sits atop the turnover differential leaderboard at plus 10 through seven games. Despite that, the team sits at two, four, and one. Cleveland won the turnover battle 6-1 in their week one tie with the Steelers. Expect a smaller gap in the turnover differential and a much bigger gap in the score. All right, thank you, Steve. There's plenty to pick from there. Good job not fumbling your words. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll stop the turnover jokes. <laughs> you can find more NFL betting tips and helpful handicapping lessons on Covers How to Bet homepage. And don't be afraid to ask us your sports betting questions on Twitter, at Covers.